Hey guys, we're gonna walk through uh, what we're using for our uh, catfish um, breeding boxes or where they can lay their eggs at. Uh, these are just 55 gallon uh, barrels. I've got a uh, six to seven inch hole in here. Um, basically just cut the barrel straight in half. And then I've got a one inch PVC pipe here that I filled with quick creep. I've got three eighths inch cable that's screwed one into here and then all the way around and then tighten it up with those. Um, and I did want to touch on, and I've got one one of those here on the front right, and then also one here on the back left, and that way that uh, equal weight distribution, uh, and it works out really well. Uh, I did also want to touch that um, I've got three holes up here, or in the front, and also three holes here, and that's uh, known for creating some additional water flow uh, throughout here so as those catfish come in and out or if they're sitting right in there they've got that continuous uh, flow of water um, these are half inch holes um, i was doing some research that's what uh, generally a lot of the biologists are saying that are doing um, you know the holes inside there um, you know and specifically i put them in here because you know these can get water or, or air tight um, in regards to uh, you know not having like the um, they're not made out of the wood um, you know like a lot of other ones are but i really like this idea um, and it provides a really good um, a large area for those catfish to go in uh, i am uh, putting them in here uh, with my waders uh, so we're sitting here mid mid may so uh, these these uh um, breeding boxes probably won't be used this year uh, but going forward you know hopefully they're getting out there established um, i am setting them out there in uh, around three to four foot of water um, pushing them out there and uh, overall it's a, a pretty good pretty good idea uh, especially if you're gonna get into any kind of a channel cat you know farm pond or you know out there in the lakes uh, for your blue cats uh, flatheads etc you know and then also keep in mind uh, you know with those bigger fish the bigger flatheads you know your hole is probably gonna need to increase and you're probably gonna need a bigger box but the channel cats you know that uh, we're gonna have through here. This is gonna be plenty big enough where they're actually able to enter in here Physically turn around with inside that uh, Area and then uh, hopefully uh, get some really good uh, nesting going on there. So uh, we'll leave you guys at that I appreciate you guys uh, Watching the video like always hopefully you guys are getting out through nature and best of luck on your up upcoming hunting and fishing season Thank <laughs> you.